And here we go. The 6'7", 235 pound forward from North Carolina, Harrison Ingram. He's physical, man. He's got a lot of tools that you like. He can stretch the floor. He's got defensive versatility and he'll hit the boards at about nine rebounds per game. But where does he fit? Does he handle the ball well enough? Does he create for his teammates well enough? Does he give you enough shot blocking and rim protection? I don't know. We're going to get into the film. Before I do, I want to give a big shout out to our channel members to get the content early before everybody else. Uh, if you're a star level member or higher, even at the role player level, you get the special badges and emotes to differentiate yourself in our live streams, which are going to be going forward on Wednesdays. Now, let's get right into the film. Here is Harrison from North Carolina, the forward. I want you to pay attention about and look at his defensive versatility as he slides his feet on the perimeter. And then on this post up, how physical he is with the guy. Now I'd like to see him move his feet and cut off that baseline drive, but he's very physical on the block. I want you to watch Harrison Ingram right here defensively he's just a little over aggressive at times i want you to pay attention on this back cut watch him gamble for the steal on the top side there you just can't do that too easy of a basket you just need to play solid defense all right let's watch harrison ingram right here we're gonna get into what they call baseline drive baseline drift to the corner for three so that is a technique that is universally taught at most levels of basketball these days to get open corner threes. And he bangs that down, Harrison Ingram. What I really love about the tape of Harrison Ingram is that you're going to see his defensive versatility. Here he's guarding the guard, Jameer Watkins from Florida State. I want you to watch how he is super physical on this rep. Just watch him off ball. Good technique, keeping that arm in the passing lane, forcing him to the baseline, and then watch this box out right here. Look at this box out. Down low in his stance, and he just drives Watkins back forcibly against his will, and Watkins does not like it. <laughs> A little chippiness ensues. <laughs> this is what you love to see from Harrison Ingram. The one, two, the shot goes up. He goes straight to the glass. And I want you to watch him fight for this board. One, two, he's faster to, to the second jump than anybody. And then he can run the floor. Doesn't get the finish. What I want you to pay attention to on this entire defensive rep is Harrison Ingram and his defensive versatility. Watch him fight through this screen, get right into the offensive player's grill gets around this screen and then gets right back after it. Now watch on this pick and roll where he then switches. He's right in the, you know, the proper away defense. Now watch him box out. Again, this is the second time he's played a full defensive technique around the perimeter, but then he doesn't rest. He boxes out the offensive player properly and attacks the glass, man. That's all you can ask for. And then comes up with this 50-50 ball in a scrum. Well, I attempted to. Instead, it's a shot clock violation. The one thing that Harrison Ingram needs to improve at is getting around these screens and not getting so hung up on them. He gets caught up in the trash quite a bit. What you have to do to be able to navigate these screens you got to get your feet up and over the screener this way, for example, quicker. So you got to make sure you slide up and then slide your feet over. It's not easy to do, but you have to do it. Do you see how he continually makes contact with the screener and then he turns his hips? He goes like this, hits the screener, turns his hips. But if he slides up and then slides his feet over, he can stick with his man a lot better. You got to get that inside foot, which would be this foot, above the screener 
and then bend. Stefan Castle, for example, does an amazing job at that. And so this causes him to be late, and now he's in trail position and fouls the offensive player. This is what I was talking about when we say defensive versatility for Harrison Ingram. He's been guarding the, the point guard for Florida State, the guard for Florida State, Jameer Watkins. Now he's got a big guy that's his assignment. Let's watch him at the point of attack in the post. Use that strong physical body that he has. Keeps his leverage and just digs that guy out of the paint. That's a great defensive rep showing off his defensive versatility. All right, on this rep, we get to see a little bit of Ingram being able to put the ball on the deck and create a little bit for his teammate. Draws the two defenders, kicks the Baycott. That was a good look. I mean, it was a it was a good play by Ingram. Baycott just couldn't finish it. He needs to go up and dunk it. Nice box out again by Ingram. Here, North Carolina is going to run this little play and then clear out this side of the floor for Ingram to go to work on the block here. And it's a methodical um, post up in my opinion, but I would love to see him get into this move quicker, right? One, two, three, four, and then tries to spin. Just needs to do this a little bit quicker, less dribbles, this time two dribbles. Gets to that spin back to the strong right hand, draws the foul. All right, so I know this is a video about Harrison Ingram, but man, this kid's gonna be a player. As a freshman, if he can get a jump shot, his speed, quickness, and decision-making, and ability to get to the cup, oh, I just love it. But what I really want you to pay attention to is Harrison Ingram here, and watch him attack the offensive glass, and he just gets downhill right here he just follows his teammate just follows his teammate right to the rim for that offensive rebound opportunity and then just puts it back over top of the florida state semi so i like the fact that ingram can stretch the floor but he needs to fake this shot and kick to the better shooter cormac ryan is their knockdown shooter so he pulls this first one off the ball fake but then he gets the rebound back, and now he hits the guy. Knockdown. This possession right here highlights offensively that anything inside the arc, you're not going to really get much from Ingram. But what you are going to get is a straight dog on the offensive glass. Watch him work, goes up with two hands and just gets it. But now the problem is, once he gets inside the arc, his form... His touch, it's not great. That is just a brick. Shout out to Baycott. Let's watch this defensive rep here that turns into a defensive rebound. Watch the technique that Ingram employs on this defensive rep. Watch that hand in the passing lane to prevent the back cut. And then as soon as he sees the shot go up, he gets right to the glass. Again, with two hands, because if he goes with one, number 11 picks that off. That wasn't a very good pass by him, but you get the idea with the rebounding. He gives you almost nine rebounds per game. I want you to watch Ingram on this possession. I mean, that's a legal screen. I don't, I don't know who taught him that screen technique. You're going to get called for that. That's, the, that's just a weird thing, but what I want you to pay attention to is this pass right there. He put a dot on him. That was a dot. What I like from Harrison Ingram right here in this isolation is that he gets into his dribble package a little bit, gives him a little left, right, left, right, but then he goes to the back down. He knows where his strength is, doesn't play outside of himself, draws the defense, and then kicks for the wide open three that leads to the offensive bucket. Ingram just has such a nose for the basketball, man. He reads these angles. He understands if it's a closer shot to get to the bucket. If it's a longer shot, look, he knows the ball's likely to come off long and then quickly passes it to his knockdown shooter. 
I like the instincts of Harrison Ingram on the glass and making the right pass. And that is it for me today, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below of Harrison Ingram, the 6'7", 235-pound forward from North Carolina. He's got some things that you can't teach. Natural instincts on the offensive glass, defensive glass. He can rebound his butt off. He also has defensive switchability. Sometimes he struggles because he's overly physical, takes some gambles, but his defensive ratings, advanced defensive metrics are all really, really good. He's got a nice outside stroke, man. He hit the three ball at about 38% this year, but his shooting percentage inside the arc, only 41%. That's not good enough. Where is he going to fit at the next level? Is he going to be a forward? Is he going to be able to handle well enough? He's an in-between guy. But, I mean, he will give you that defensive versatility, and he will crash the glass. Again, thank you to everybody. This channel is just amazing. Wednesdays, we're going to be live streaming going forward to talk the NBA draft. We're going to do uh, this upcoming Wednesday, the big board for Bleacher Report, their top 50 combine invites. And there are some interesting ones on there. So I'll see you there. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.